of Eli starting his first playoff game. Needed some more pressure. Former Giant Heroes looking over his shoulder. Thomas Davis on the blitz crushes Manning. It was a scoreless first quarter. Here in the second, Jake DeLome to Steve Smith. 22-yard touchdown. And a beautiful snow angel. Looks better if it's actually in the snow. By the way, 72 and sunny here in the studio. We well, saw Smith. There's Brent Alexander. Terrell Brockley's in press coverage on Smith. Expecting to get some help deep. Instead, Alexander went over the outside. Left Smith one-on-one -on -one in the middle of the field. Tiki Barber ran to the right, running the left. It's Barber shut down again. Tiki has just 28 yards rushing in the first half. The Panther defense doing the job on him, putting more pressure on the young quarterback Manning. In a 10-0 game, here in the third, more trouble for Eli. Looking across the middle, picked clean by Ken Lucas, and the Panthers were in business. On the very next play, it's that Steve Smith guy. Look out for the reverse. Smith also had 10 catches for 84 yards, but here goes in for the score off the reverse. And there's your celebration. Giddy up! Eli in the NFL's number four ranked offense picked a bad day to have a bad day. About five minutes left in the third. Now it's 17 nothing. Eli has to make something happen. Looking for Shockey. Overthrows him. Picked off by Marlon McCree. Little love tap from Julius Peppers. Under two and a half left in the third. Deshaun Foster dominating on the ground. Rips off 31 yards there. He had 151 yards rushing in the game. That's a Panthers playoff record. That run led to a field goal. So now it's 20 to nothing, Panthers. Manning still trying to make something happen, and it's that McCree guy again. For Manning, a nightmare. Daddy said there would be days like this. Barber bumming. The Panthers win 23 to nothing. 30th playoff shutout in NFL history. First time the home team has been shut out since the 79 playoffs. First time the Giants have suffered a playoff shutout in 20 years. Eli, four turnovers, all coming on their final four possessions. Tiki held to a season low 41 yards rushing. Giants managed just a total of 132 yards offense. Panthers had the football a ridiculous 42 plus minutes. Among the reasons, they'll play 60 more. This is what it's all about. I mean, this is getting on that bus in a little while, getting on the plane in a little while. It's indescribable, especially after, you know, you come together as a team. It's just you can't beat it. We, we want to show people that we can play. That's all. You know, we want to get our, uh, we, we want to get our just due. And, and by doing that is we're making plays and winning. You, 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 can't, um, you can't miss us if we're on the radar. We didn't run the ball the way we thought we might be able to run the ball. We didn't have any balance. We didn't make any first downs. We got no rhythm going offensively. Uh, it, we just didn't accomplish a whole lot. I think I give a lot of credit to their defense and, and, and the way they played. They played really well, but uh, we just we didn't play well. We didn't we didn't execute. We just couldn't get anything started. Just disappointing that we probably picked the most um, inopportune time to have probably one of our worst games of the season. I think in some ways we're out coached. Um, they had more intensity than we did. They played cons more consistently than we did, and uh, that's why they won this game. Wow, outcoached, huh? Credit the Panthers' defense for just dominating the Giants' offense. In nine games at Giants Stadium during the regular season, the Giants averaged over 29 points per game, turned the ball over once every 38 plays. Yet Sunday, blanked, five turnovers, just 35 total plays. But hey, Sean, what was the deal with Deshaun?